Hello everyone, my name is Fox. This video is going to be super quick. If you installed Windows on your Steam Deck and were wondering why when you installed Game Pass or any other non-Steam game, why the controller wasn't working, I'm going to show you why. So that was Game Pass and I had a few things installed. And if we take a look at game controls, this is what Windows sees. Windows sees no controller whatsoever. You can see that I'm moving around just fine. What's actually happening here is that Windows sees this as a mouse. So you would need Steam installed number one to be able to, when you play this game, Steam then invokes the Neptune controller and passes along whatever it wants. So it can be an Xbox controller, a, a DualShock controller, anything that Steam input will pass along to it, which is great and really versatile. However, when you're not using Steam and when you have stuff like Game Pass games, some of the newer Game Pass games have started allowing Windows 32 apps, but for the most part, they are WA or WP, Universal Windows apps or Universal Windows programs. Those are a little bit harder to link. So in Steam, you would go to uh, add game right here, and then you'd say add non-Steam game, and then it would list all these files, right? So then you would add it, and then from there, you would be able to easily pass along whatever control you wanted. However, if we wanted to just do this in this particular state, I'm going to do it in a global state. There is a tool called GLOSC. This is Global Steam Controller. There is a new version of this called Glossy, which is the Global Steam Input. Uh, I started off using Glossy first, and I've created per-profile stuff, but it was crashing when I first started loading. So I had to backpedal to Glossk itself. Now you can see that, that little uh, button right there, Add All to Steam. When you say Create New, you're going to go ahead and give a name and link to something. If you take a look at my Notepad entry right here, I literally just said Notepad, and I linked it to Notepad.exe in Windows System 32 Path. Now if we go into Steam right here, you can see that I have Notepad listed here because of when I clicked Add All to Steam. Now when I click play, listen for the USB connection sound right there. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and just close Notepad because it's super easy to open and close. And voila, you see a controller right there. If we go into properties, you can see that everything is working. So now we've basically created a an Xbox 360 controller that with a transparent window, now we can load anything. In this instance, I'm going to go ahead and load Carry On. Before I do that, I do want to make mention that you do need to go into Steam and it would be wise to make a, a flip so that you can easily go back to mouse mode and whatnot. This was actually, I apologize, there's a Discord user that told me to do this and I'm forgetting their name. You will have to enable that middle checkbox. Use the big picture overlay when using a Steam input enabled controller for, from the desktop. You will need to have that enabled before anything else. That's the only other thing you need to do. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and play Carry On, which is the Game Pass version of Carry On. And we're gonna launch it directly from the Xbox app. And at this point, Windows is more than happy to just use the controller. Anyway, that was a very quick way that I could show you to get the Steam Controller working on any app from anywhere. Glossk is the easiest way, and just making it globally available is kind of easy for me. At that point, you wouldn't be able to mouse around unless you configured that. I'm not going to be showing that in this particular video because you can still use the touchpad just fine. That's pretty much it. This was a quick video that I want to quickly make for anyone that was having trouble. As always, guys, thank you for your time, and thanks for watching.